Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and today we're playing Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this is Sun Station Episode 5, Interplanetary Docking. I see the light. <laughs> anyway, guys, so as you can see, that was a nice smash. In fact, that was meant to be the start of the episode, and just so happened, bang, unfortunate, right? Anyway, these designs just randomly smash when it comes to rocket max fuel tanks. They're just really bad. I don't advise you guys to use them unless you really have to. And in this case, we need to. Because this design that you are looking at is called Refilia Mark IV, I think, from memory, it's Mark IV. And it is designed, I think I've probably mentioned this in a previous episode, but it's designed to essentially send a payload worth of fuel to the Sun Station, uh, whether it is Icarus Part 1 or Part 2. Uh, refill that, um, not all of it, you'd have to actually send a couple of these payloads to refill the, the station entirely. And uh, that will actually help out to get the station close enough to the sun, because at the moment it's pretty damn far away. Anyway, guys, as you can see here, uh, a bit of a time skip. Uh, this whole episode was actually 50 minutes long. Uh, that's how long it actually takes to do a docking. I don't know, it, it can't be just me. It's just time consuming in general. Well, it, it even depends on the type of engines that you are using. In this case, we're using the right engine, but when it comes to the atomic rocket motor, it's just the th amount of thrust. No. Anyway, guys, as you can see, just try, trying to get a docking pretty much with Icarus Part 1, I believe, which is the the part with the disc in the front, the big disc that Icarus has. It's, it's the main feature, really, of it. So there we go. Jettison those parts, uh, they just ran out of fuel, but they helped us out quite a lot. And here's another, another time skip, as you guys can see, this is Icarus part one, the big disc. Uh, there it is, so yeah. And this part, docking. Docking is always an issue. Uh, with big designs, say you have like two Rockamax fuel tanks, or a, a, a design with the size of two Rockamax fuel tanks, and you try and dock that, it takes a, take, it's very difficult. And uh, you always want to pack quite a bit of RCS. Now with this design, Refuel Your Mark IV, I believe, that's what it's called, the, the payload design. Um, it does, well the only issue is that it does not have SAS or ASAS, unfortunately. Um, it's my fault. I only have, the only thing that actually enables this thing to move is RCS and the gimbal range of the engines. That's it. So when I mean gimbal range, I mean once you throttle up a little bit, you can use gimbal range, which allows you to move your your rocket. Um, but RCS, um, if you're a person who uses quite a bit of RCS, maybe you want to add a bit extra to this design uh, when I do submit it to you guys, so you guys will eventually be able to download this uh, during the final stages of this, uh, this series, really. Um, so what I usually do, of course, is uh, transfer the fuel to Icarus, there we go, it goes Park 1, refilling it, uh, this refill your Mark 4 is not the best, which is the payload design, again, um, I do have another design that has two Rockamax fuel tanks worth of fuel that you can, that will actually have, what was it, uh, one and a half fuel tanks worth of fuel remaining after getting this close to the the station, which is, which is pretty good, um, but I didn't use that design in this case because it's, it's just, very slow. It uses atomic rocket motors, and as you guys know, the, th the thrust level is just too low. <laughs> uh, but you can't do anything about that. Anyway, they are, they do save quite a bit of fuel. Anyway, so this is Icarus Part 2, what you're looking at. Um, I've spent quite a bit of time, done a lot of docking. I've refilled this thing at least six times, interplanetary docking style. As you can see, guys, this is blinding. Can you see the light? I see the light. That is blinding, big time. <laughs> so this is around about 4.7 million meters away from the sun's surface, uh, which you may think that is pretty far away. It is, but at the same time, uh, any closer than ice, there are a few restrictions, uh, apparently with the time warp. Although you can do the alt time warp thing in the game, I'd rather just not do that. Anyway, this is the distance that I want to stay at. I hope you guys are right with the distance. I think it's good. Check out the solar panels, guys. If you right-click the solar panel, check how much energy flow there is. Look at that. That, that. that does look pretty damn high. I've never seen it that high before. I mean, this thing is an energy station. Look at this. So much energy. <laughs> it's overflowing with energy. You know, in the game, they should implement something where if there's too much energy, the, uh, the batteries just explode. 
no hopefully hopefully they don't implement that otherwise there will be so many damn problems um and uh on a different note uh if you guys are finding the lighting in the video is a little bit weird uh i, I don't really know what the, what the issue is uh, sony vegas does some weird things when you update it so i don't know I, i'll probably fix it in case there is an issue you guys tell me um i don't know if i mentioned this but true it took me like uh, during two week period uh my nights every night approximately i was working on the sun station trying to refill it um and again just still haven't actually finished it off sorry guys i know it's taking quite a while um after i finish my job i'm currently doing an internship in networking uh networking being computing for the basic people who don't know what networking is <laughs> long story uh anyway the closest design i've gotten is Rufuria Mark II. That's the closest design I've gotten to the sun. The closest payload design, should I say, uh, to be more specific. So, hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is pretty much a little update video. Again, interplanetary, do interplanetary docking. I see the light. See you next time. Bye. And, uh, yeah, that is it. See ya.